Matt fans, welcome back. Today we're looking at Legends in ArcGIS Online. Let's go. I released a new course recently and if you would like to enrol now you can use the link above or the one in the description to receive 50% off. One of the current students had a question about Legends in ArcGIS Online, posted that question in the discussion forum. So I thought I'd answer it via video. Here I am in ArcGIS Online and I've got my web map open and over in the left hand panel we've got three options. We've got about, content or legend and if I choose legend that will show me what my map legend is going to look like. Now how the legend behaves or is shown really depends on what you're going to do with the map. So if I wanted to print this map for example I could go to print drop down and I can go map with legend. So that is going to create a page, load up my map and the legend is included there. Now you don't have very much control over what this legend is going to look like. There's the map, that took a little while, don't know why. Uh, but obviously if you change symbology and you change layer name or something like that, it will update automatically. So let's just go back, I'm going to nip into my content and I will get rid of the space holders. So let's rename this. Actually, I'll just put a two in front of it so it will be obvious. Okay, that and if I nip back over to my print, I'm just going to reload this. And as it reloads, you can see that any changes are picked up in this printable map. So that's one option, printing your map, and that's how you can get the legend on there. But really, when you're dealing with ArcGIS Online, if I just flip back to my web map, we've got many other options that we can use for this web map. Now, up in the top right, if you're working on a new map, you'll have Create Presentation. I've been playing around with this one, so I've got Edit Presentation. And Presentations uh, let you create different views of your map, and you can add slides to them. So I'm just going to show you this very quickly. Let's edit this one and call it my first slide. Oops, there we go. And I'll set the location to the current. All these layers are switched on. You can choose your base map, all sorts of things. So for each one of these uh, slides, you have those options. And you also have more options up at the top. So I can show or hide presentation playback options. Am I going to auto advance? And this little checkbox down here lets me show the legend on all slides. So I'll do that and I'm just going to hit play here. Uh, that's fine, let's save those. Okay, and here's our presentation. We've only got one slide in it, obviously. But up at the top right, you can see this little legend and we can open that up. So you can include that in your presentation if you would like to. And if you share this web map with others, they'll be able to view that presentation as well. Now presentations are an example of web apps. And so if I just nip back into my web map, I am going to edit the map. Let's get out of here, back to the web map instead of the presentation. And actually what I'd like to do is go to my content. So I'm just going to have a look at what's in my ArcGIS online account and go back to my Central America web map. Let's click in here. And when you're looking at your web map, you have all these options. So you can create a web app. And in here, depending on the web app that you choose to create, you'll have different options pertaining to the legend. So if I just drop this down, you can see we've got configurable apps, web app builders, story maps, dashboards. And in the course, we'll actually go through how to build a story map. So if you're including a map in a story, you can set how your legend is going to appear. Um, the same is true for Web App Builder and for configurable apps as well. 
So depending on what you choose, you have a different level of control over what your legend looks like in terms of background colors and things like that. And if you really want to dig deep into it, you can get into the Esri JavaScript API where you get a lot more control through the power of code. So I hope that has answered Marianne's question and I hope that you have found that video useful. So please do like, subscribe, and don't forget to head on over to the BirdGIS website and take a look at that course. You can have 50% off for being loyal YouTube watchers. There'll be a lot more courses coming too, and if you'd like to see particular software or topics covered, then do drop me a note in the comments. Thanks for watching and happy mapping.